Okay, Sunday night. We're on day 22, and we're gonna do puppy gruel. This is how I'm gonna try them out on it uh, tonight. Uh, this is not coffee grounds. This is a coffee container that uh, I acquired to grind up dog food, uh, puppy and uh, lactating mother's food, uh, Victor brand, and I put it in there. It looks just like coffee grounds. It doesn't smell like it. But that's what I store it in. I took a large container cup and microwaved purified water to warm it. Uh, and I put it in this bowl and I mixed uh, 10 big heaping spoonfuls uh, of puppy food in that cup of water and mixed it up and that's what I got. It's almost like a paste consistency. And uh, it's going to be puppy gruel and they're going to just lick at it. Uh, we're going to give it a try here in the new puppy feeder system for uh, uh, 2016. Stay tuned and uh, I'll continue. Wake up, kids. Time for school. Um, Put your toes in it, get a little on her nose, they're going to automatically start licking at it. Look at yellow go. Going right in there. Pinky. Uh, Look at her go. Come here, little man. I got a spot for you right there. It works. This is a little customized design that I started three years ago. I had one feeder for eight puppies and it was very cumbersome. So now I make three bowl, four bowl, and five bowl feeders for pups. Uh, depending on the size of your litter is a size I can make for you and it's easier to handle a three bowl, four bowl than it would be a seven bowl. These pups are going at it. Come here, get your feet out of there and get your tongue in it. Okay, that a girl. Everybody is doing exactly what I hope for. I can't see around him, but he's he's got in there and he's he's eating it. Everybody's doing quite well here. <laughs> you see they got their feet in there. Um, the reason I don't do the big hubcap pan is because they like to climb in it and when they start running out of food they climb across it and they get it all over them. And when they're done you gotta clean every pup and you gotta clean everything up. With these, when they're done, I take these bowls out. This is the same food that Tilly eats. She will lick these things clean. They go back in the sink. The feeders come out and the puppies go right back to doing the other thing they do well. And that's sleeping. So, I hope you enjoy this. And uh, expect more of this to come. This is the first day. Uh, the ab absolutely first time that these puppies are on any kind of 
somewhat solid food. And all I did was grind up the dog food into almost a powder and mix it with warm water. And it makes it moist and easy for them to swallow. And you can see they are just going at it. What I anticipate happening is they'll back up a little bit and then they'll start chopping. Those females will do it first. They like chopping. And uh, they'll start swapping bowls and cleaning up after each other, so to say. If there's any leftovers, and this will kind of help, help me understand how much to give them each serving, but I think. Uh, one big heaping spoon was just about right for each one. And now I know they're going to get this and some of mother's milk still too. She's going to go in and out for a day or so before we totally cut her off. All right. Enjoy. Give me the thumbs up if you like it. It's starting to wind down. Some of them are really polishing the bottom of that bowl. Probably still can't see in there yet, but... There's only been a couple of them that have lifted their heads. They've really been taken to this quite well. Uh, you can see they're pushing it around a little bit, but they're also cleaning, uh, getting to the bottom. And uh, Brownie here has just, he's one of them that hasn't lifted his head. He might be making a little bit of a mess of it, but uh, he's getting some because his tongue did up. Oh, there he goes. He's finally lifted up. He's going to clean them around the top. If they're anything like their mother, she spit shines her bowl every time she eats, so uh, I think we'll be quite pleased. Now we got uh, a little action going on over here from clean up in aisle one. Come here, girl. Get up there and clean it up. Nah, no, baby. All right. <laughs> Come here. Well, Pinky here, she's, uh, she's, she's got most of her bowl gone. A purple collar. She's made a mess, but she looks like she's trying to clean it up, too, so. Brownie has backed away. He might be full. <laughs> he doesn't eat near as much, never has. He's a little bit smaller because of it, but he's getting his food, I know. Uh, that's obvious there. Hi, buddy. He's a local favorite, that's for sure. Everybody's starting to back up. And then, uh... This makes cleanup so much easier. Those bowls will pop right back up out of there and go in the sink after Tilly's done with them. And, uh... I can wipe down these feeders and set them off to the side. And they're ready till for the next time. Well, uh, we're wrapping up here. If uh, there's reason to be thankful, we got seven healthy puppies. Tilly's thankful that uh, the end is near. She's been going in and doing her nursing, but she's not uh, nearly as eager about it because they're so aggressive. So this is going to take the, some of the pressure off of her. Actually, if... <laughs> She'll still go in just to get some relief, but she won't tolerate him very long. And as you can see, the last bull here, this little Norm Jr. guy, he uh, he's still going at it, and Purple's kind of helping him clean up some crumbs. But it's uh, uh, a good, good sign. Uh, the puppies are going into that food coma Thanksgiving mode. And uh, we're all thankful for healthy puppies. Victor Brand Foods is what uh, these puppies are going to be raised on while they're here. Here's the end result. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen them like this. All in one pile. I hope it's a good sign. <laughs> they have really, I guess, gorged themselves. And uh, just huddled together like a family again and uh, passed out. <laughs> I, I think the trick is uh, getting a full belly and it was warm and everything that uh, a 
puppy meat. 